Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making another version of the Mud Kitchen. This time I'm gonna give you full plans and a cut list. So if you see at the end of the video, I'll have a freeze frame of those. So this mud kitchen's made to a height of 540 millimeters from the floor to the worktop. I'll mark on the cut list in green when you need to adjust these dimensions. All you need is a sheet of 18 mil ply, half a sheet of 16 mil ply, and some timber. The timber you need is 125 millimeters by 18 millimeters. You'll need a 900 mil length of this, uh, 75 millimeters by 18 millimeters. You'll need two meters length of this, and 50 millimeters by 18 millimeters, and you need 800. 50 mils of this. Okay, let's get on with it. Well, hell, I'm using a lot of tools here. You can get this made with simple tools. The sheet goods can get cut down to size by most hardware stores, but if you do have a circular saw, then you can do as I am here and cut it down yourself. First, I'm cutting down all of my sheet as per the cut plan. Now I'm cutting the 40 by 40 millimeter timber to six pieces of 525 millimeters to make the legs. If you want to make your mud kitchen taller, say 640 mils instead of the 540, then you'll need to make this dimension 100 mils bigger. I'm using a sliding miter saw here, but you can easily get the job done with a hand saw. It just might take a few minutes longer. Next I'm cutting down the 75 by 18 millimeter timber into two pieces that are 370 millimeter in length and one piece that's 800 millimeters in length to make the apron which fits underneath the worktop. I'm also cutting the 75 by 18 millimeter timber into two pieces 175 millimeters in length to make the vertical parts of the oven surround. If you want to make your mud kitchen taller, you need to increase this dimension. Now I'm cutting the 50 millimeter by 18 millimeter to two pieces 420 millimeters in length this is to make the oven surrounds for above and below the oven door. If you wanted to make the mud kitchen shorter, I would probably remove these pieces and do without them and keep the vertical oven surrounds the same size. This will help keep the oven door to proportions. You will need to make the legs shorter though. Here I'm cutting down the 125mm by 18mm timber to 800mm lengths to make the kick and also cutting out two pieces 100 by 100 mils at a 45 degree angle to make the top shelf support. Now it's time for assembly. First I'm fixing the front legs to the kick using 60mm screws ensuring that everything remains square. If you don't have a square, you can use a tape measure and some high school maths to keep squareness. Next I add on the side aprons and the back corner legs. Again, fixing with 60 millimeter screws. And now the front apron goes on. Again, using 60 millimeter screws. Here I'm fixing the oven surrounds on, screwed in with 50mm screws and then I sand it down flush. This wouldn't be necessary if you used dimensional timber, it's only because I milled it down myself. Now to start fixing the sheet goods, I'm fixing on the bottom half of the back, again with 50mm screws. and then the top half of the back. This gets fixed 175 mils from the bottom. This will allow you to paint this with blackboard paint and use it as a blackboard. The 
the back leg goes on with 60mm screws and the shelf support with 50mm screws. I'm using a scrap piece of 6mm ply to ensure that the shelf will sit flush with the top of the kick. Now it's time to cut the opening out for the sink. First I drill a hole to allow the jigsaw to pass through. If you don't have a jigsaw, you can get this done by chain drilling holes around. The rough edge will be covered up by the lip of the bowl. I've added an affiliate link down below for the bowl I'm using. Now the top gets fixed on with 50mm screws. Next I fix the oven sides and bottom shelf on with 50mm screws. Here I'm cutting out the middle part of the oven door. This gives the illusion of glass after it's all painted. It isn't really necessary and it's quite hard to do without a jigsaw or coping saw. Everything gets a good sand. Now I'm fixing on the top shelf with 60mm screws. Here I'm cutting out some knobs at a scrap timber using a 40mm hole saw drill and the hot plates out of 6mm ply using a 120mm hole saw. The oven door handle gets made out of 10mm dowel and some blocks of wood 20 by 30 by 40 You can do without this and use some store-bought hardware instead. Now it's time for paint. The hot plate, oven door and knobs get painted with black paint while the rest gets a coat of white. And finally, put it all together. Okay, I hope that was useful to some people. The cut list and the sheet cut plan is to follow. So get ready with your screen dump, print screen button. Um, if you liked what I did today, hit the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourselves.